Alright guys, how's it going? Let's take a quick look at Blender's text tool and prepare your mind to be blown here. Now in traditional fashion, let's delete the cube. Pow. Let's go to add and let's go to text. In order to be able to edit the text, if you press the tab key, that'll put us in the edit mode. Now let's type something poetic. Wow. Now on the right hand side, you'll see the green A here. And that pretty much handles most of the text. So we'll leave things for default at the moment and we'll concentrate on geometry. So we can see that we've got a few options here. For example, we can extrude. And we can also add a bevel. So let's give it a quick bevel here. Something like that. We'll put the resolution up ever so slightly. And that's pretty much how you use text in Blender. Now one of the questions I get asked is, how do I change the font type? So if we come down to font, you'll see that there's a folder icon here. Now perhaps you've downloaded a font from the internet, the font or whatever. If you navigate to where your font is saved, simply select it and that will give you your own custom font. So another question that gets asked is how do I curve my text on a path? And it's pretty damn simple. If we jump back into object mode and we go to add and we make a curve, for example, we'll select circle. We'll reselect our text and we'll come down to the transform and you'll see it here, text on curve and let's essentially pick the curve that we created. And there you go, it's now aligned to the circle. Now you can play around with the size and that'll help. Or you can come down to the character spacing and play around with that. Also keep in mind this can actually be animated. Now that's pretty much the basics of creating a font in Blender. If you've used a computer maybe the last 10 years, you'll have a pretty good understanding how this will work. Thanks for watching, you know what to do, like and subscribe, peace.